Now to an outpouring of support for a beloved restaurant owner nearly killed by a hit and run driver. Right now there's a huge block party to help keep her dream alive in Escondido. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live with a massive crowd showing up for the owner of Rosie's Cafe. Rachel. Hi, Kimberly. Take a look at this line. It is wrapped around the block and it has been since the carnival opened at three. Hundreds of people here to support a young woman whose motto is never quit. And she is living up to that as she continues to fight through major injuries. Caitlin Rosie Pillsbury owns Rosie's Cafe. She is also known to dress up as Rosie the Riveter. The restaurant was featured on the Food Network show Restaurant Impossible last year. Then just days before Christmas, Caitlin was nearly killed in a horrific head-on crash. She was on her motorcycle when the driver of an SUV hit her and took off. When the producers heard about the accident, they wanted to help. Celebrity chef Robert Irvine is back at the cafe shooting another segment and throwing this huge carnival to raise money for Caitlin's medical bills. She was in a coma for 12 days, suffered multiple broken bones and brain injuries. She's still in a rehab center, but her manager says she knows about today's block party and is overwhelmed with gratitude. She's excited. She just can't believe it's all for her. She's a fighter. She's, she's her motto, never quit. You know, so we rallied together as a team, her staff and I, and that to keep her dream alive here and keeping the restaurant open, because Rosie's Cafe is her baby. Caitlin's mom is here from New Jersey. She has been by her daughter's side every day since that accident. You'll hear from her coming up new at six. We'll also talk with the celebrity chef about why he wanted to come back and hold this event. Tickets are $20. There's food and games and rides for the kids, and it goes until six o'clock. Reporting live in Escondido, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.